Shalom, Shalom family. Brother Zachariah come back with another one. I'm at work, so I'm gonna bank this uh real quick. Uh more of uh less this is a bug out alert. Now obviously, as you can see, you know, most of y'all seen the post where I was talking about the chariots, you know, I went into the scriptures and everything. And this guy is on here. He commented on my stuff and he said, them demons gonna pick you up and disintegrate you. Ain't nothing come from spaceships or nothing good come from spaceships. And he, so I commented shaking my head. Then he says, as a seer, God has shown me two dreams about UFOs and both dreams was not pleasant, okay? So I, I read on down and it says, no, the, they currently, I guess he meant to say, they currently go from and to earth. To give up human and humans instructions it's god christ in the bible every man will see christ's face all right and we know that it's uh yahweh shy that's his name but this guy calls on yahusha you know i went on his page and looked you know that's why it's very important to when people comment stuff go check their page out and see what they you know their belief system because everyone don't believe the same thing this is why we all can't come together only like-minded individuals okay this truth hasn't been given to everybody. All right. And uh, let's see. You know, he's going into the whole UFOs, which he's calling it a doctrine. And then I commented, well, you got to remember, they are a curse unto the other nations as well as two thirds of our own people. And then I said, second, Esau has Project Blue Beam, which we understand. That's why we're not ignorant. We don't call everything a chariot. As well as well so i said understanding that only the elect will know and prepare themselves to me meet yahweh shy in the air when that day comes and then he said don't rely on your um, own understanding one do not let the blind lead the blind wake up if you are in the true body of israel these things i tell you is the truth the dream i had which you know it says it warns you about people about the having these so-called dreams which dreams is not going off but you know, a lot of these men, they have these dreams and they, you know, there's people that are waking up claiming they dream that they King David, you know. So we already know how that goes. A lot of these uh, bug outs is, is coming into this thing. I'm not even going to read the rest of what he come. He said, so then I was like, you know. Hold on. I had commented on there. It looks like it's not showing up. Okay. Yeah, it was up here. It says, says the guy, because he was telling me don't rely, you know, on my own understanding. I said, says the guy teaching in videos with a cap on, which I went to his page, and I'm going to go back in a little bit. It says, with a cap on, as well as smoking weed, you know. I went through your YouTube, and I didn't see any videos of you on the highways and byways teaching either. And you call on Yahusha, which is, not, which is not the Messiah's name. Bro, you bugged out. You know, he ain't commented back yet. Okay. Just to show y'all proof. Here it says I'm writing a TV series, which that's going off. We don't need, we're not here to be doing all that. We're just here to warn our people. So, clearly he's not in the right spirit. He said about five seasons long, maybe more, based on true story called Chosen One. So, this guy... This guy's going off, man. All right, and this is proof, y'all. Just so y'all, look, he got the hashtag Yahusha. That's what he calls on. He got Jesus and all that on there. Christian, faith. But this guy's crazy, man. And then there was, see, he's got these videos. Look, he, you know, with his hat on. I always make sure I have it off when I'm uh, teaching. Now, I got a hat on right now, but I'm not teaching. I'm just bringing this to y'all attention. But this, this guy's going to make me do a lesson, actually, on him. All right. And here's a post here. This was four days ago. So he smokes weed. It's just whenever I take breaks from smoking weed, it's like I get, get I extra. I guess he's, you know, he can't spell, man. But it says I get extra skinny. So, you know, obviously this guy smokes weed. So he's all over the place. Look good and crazy, too, man. This is what you got to watch out for, Yasharala. Because like I said, everyone's not in the same spirit. You know, these guys are crazy. All right, y'all. Shalawan. All right now. Shalawan, Shalawan family. 
your brother Zachariah coming back to you with another uh, lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, all glory, all praise unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the others of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring and doing the elements, making your body a living sacrifice while trying to seal the elect and making your calling and election assured. Shalom and to you sisters out there that are learning. Listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom. Okay. So if you watch the uh, video clip that I put in the beginning of the video, the lesson, I was talking about this brother, man. You know, like, this is the reason why, you know, Israel can't come together. You know, a lot of, you got a lot of these Israelites that push this vibration that we all need to come together. And... Technically, we do, but in truth, man, you know, there's only one gospel, man. There's only one faith, you know, and Yasharala is all over the place, man. You know, we're calling on different names. Uh, there's different doctrines. People don't believe in certain things. Like this brother that I posted, you know, he don't believe in the chariots. He believed that they're being operated by demons, <laughs> you know, and... And then when you go on his page, he's calling on a different a different name, which we know the Messiah's name to be Yahusha. He's calling on Yahusha. There's no you in, in the Hebrew, man. But it just shows you the mindset of our people, man. Pure bugged out. So, yeah, there's no you in the uh, paleo Hebrew, you know. Um, and then on top of that, you know, the man... Uh, smoking weed man he he's pushing you know the fact that it's okay to smoke i think he even had a lesson on one of his uh his youtube you know about how you can smoke weed and so you already know like and you could uh you know like me for an example when i was in the world i smoked weed man and you i know what it can do you know and i've never been one of those people that get addicted on things like, it wasn't something, I mean, I did it, but it was like, it, it, it didn't do nothing for me, man. You know, I know people do stuff to escape the harsh reality that we in Babylon, we're in captivity and, and stuff like that. You know, they're not using it for medical reasons. Like, a lot of these jakes that's bugged out, they'll use that as an, oh, man, it, 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 it can serve as medicine. It, 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 it heals. Like, bro, it ain't healing nothing. For you, you're not going to get any kind of healing smoking it, all right? You know, and, you know, the scriptures tell you to be sober-minded. And it also talks about uh, defiling your temple, you know, the which is your body, man. You know, and, and all that smoke and stuff is, is destroying your lungs and stuff. And a lot of these jakes are so bugged out that they don't have a clue what they're doing to their body. But, you know, the... I said it before in a, in a previous uh, walk and talk lesson, man, about, you know, strong delusions. You know, he's smoking all this weed and then the spirit that's on him, he believes that the chariots are being operated by demons. It's like, man, this is crazy, man. The mindset of our people, you know, and and I went on and on with him and, and actually told him, like, you know, you know, the uh, chariots, uh, they serve as, as a, they're a blessing, but they're also a curse. They're a curse go, that go forth over the whole earth, you know. And matter of fact, let me go ahead and uh, pull up the scriptures and we can read that. Because what you got to understand is that the chariots of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man, are a, uh, they're a blessing to, to Yasharala, though. You know, the, the elect, you know, because they're going to come back and deliver us. It's crazy we have to bring these scriptures out, you know, like this. You know, these, but these guys, man, you know, like I said, you know, they, they don't have a clue what's going on. All right, this is Zechariah chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It said, Did I turn and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll? And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits. And the breadth thereof ten cubits. 
Then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face, face of the whole earth. Okay? And this is what I was explaining to him. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off, as on this side according to it. And we know that, um, you know, we've been uh, stolen. We've been stolen from our, our uh, land. We've been stolen from our heritage. We've been stolen for, from our, our power. You know, our, our God, which is Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, you know, our king, our heritage, everything, man. So, you know, the scriptures is on point. All right. According to it. And everyone that swerves shall be cut off on that side according to it. All right. So this is what the scriptures is telling us and warning us about. And this brother, man, he actually uh, had his nerve to actually you know, say that these things are being operated by demons. And we know that the angels are with them. All right. I'm going to bring out another precept here real quick. Oh, man. One second, y'all. One second. All right, this is Psalm 68 and uh, chapter 68 and verse 17. It says the chariots of God, which chariots is just basically vehicles, you know, it, it just means transportation, you know, vehicles. All right. The, the the vehicles. So we could even read it like this. The vehicles of God of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. OK. And it says the Lord is among them. OK, so if this is demons, we know Yahweh Shai is on the right hand. So all these angels that are on, on this side are, are obviously going to be good angels. OK, and even if it was bad angels, let's just entertain that. <laughs> it's still at the end of the day, you know, they're subject under, unto uh, Yahweh Shai. All right. So I'm going to read it again. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So we know these are the uh, holy angels, y'all. You know, it's no secret. But, you know, he can't explain that. And a lot of times he do a lot of talking. I noticed his brother ain't bringing out no precepts. You know, he's just talking out the side of his neck. You know? So I wanted to just post this and warn you guys on the type of... Uh, stuff that goes on and how you should be careful because when you you know when i was scrolling through his page on instagram i noticed something you know he has five thousand followers over five thousand so that's five thousand people that will be deceived by this man like he went as far as talking about he was going to start up a tv series <laughs> you know what i'm saying and this is a recent post on his page and he said like he's written up to like five seasons maybe more you know, and I'm like, Jake is crazy, man. Here we are. We should be prophesying the downfall of this place. And I don't see none of that on there. You know, they spend, Yasharala spend more time coming up against their own people than prophesying the downfall of this place. You ain't bringing out no current events or nothing. But as soon as I post something about the chariots, now you want to comment on my stuff. And that's what I always can't stand is when these guys, they'll follow you on these social media platforms and never like a post but as soon as soon as there's something they don't like oh they on your plate they're on your page man they're on your post posting these real long comments trying to get their little 15 seconds of fame man and i put the nip in the bud you know a lot of times i don't say nothing i let you just you know you believe what you believe you know but that don't mean that it's the truth you know, we always speak from the Bible, man. And, and this stuff was passed down, man, from, from the um, elders on down. You know, Yahweh, man, he's, he has people that he's dealing with. And these guys come up and they always talk about these dreams. Let me see if I can find that scripture, too. This might be the scripture, I think. Let me let me make sure real quick. 
Damn. Okay. This is, I think, what I was looking for. Because this guy talked about, uh, he said the Lord came to him in a dream about the chariots and all that stuff. And then he says he's, he was some kind of a major prophet. Actually, let me see. He might have said the word prophet. I think I've had some screenshots of what he said. You know, you got to. <laughs> so just bear with me real quick. Let me see if I have it. I probably, I probably didn't get it. I'm not sure. Cause this guy, this guy was all over the place, man. Yeah, I don't think I got it. I got a screenshot of that. I should have, but I don't know. I don't see it. But uh, this is Jeremiah 23 and 32. And it says, Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit uh, this people at all, saith the Lord. You know, that's all capital. That's Yahweh. OK, and that's this guy, man, with a false dream, you know. And maybe he saw the chariots and he said people were being disintegrated. But, you know, the scriptures also tell you that um, when we go into the chariots, we know we're not going in with these new bodies. We're going, I mean, with these, I said not new bodies, Salakia, uh, with these old bodies. And we're going to get the new bodies. So maybe what he saw and he just didn't know how to interpret it, you know. So he's prophesying lies. You know, maybe, you know, what you actually saw in your dream was you know men going or men and women children going up and and um they're losing the old bodies and they're getting those new bodies you see the old bodies disintegrating you know but a lot of our people you know that's why uh everyone can interpret it dreams too we had uh some of our forefathers were able to do that you know uh joseph uh could interpret dreams man you know that's a gift you know so I don't know, man. These guys, man, they they come up, man, and 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 just be like saying anything, you know. And he's probably reading all types of books too, you know. It tells you to watch out with all that, you know, these books and stuff. You know, we warn people of uh, the Book of Enoch. It goes into a whole lot of, you know, fallen angels and stuff, which we know the fallen ones are the Israelites, man, the sons of God. They fail, you know. All right. So, yeah, man, you got to watch out for these books. You know, you got to watch out, you know, and um, that's the problem with Jake, man. Jake be all over the place. And, you know, so it was so many things wrong with this brother. Uh, another thing is uh, teaching, which I would have had on, you know, and, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, because like I said, I, did, I just skimmed through his YouTube, but I didn't see any um, highways, highways and byways. You know, now he was doing like sit down lessons and all that, but he wasn't actually like I didn't see him out, you know, out on the streets. You know, I did not one video. And and then, um, you know, he he had like a bunch of like, you know, ones where he's in his car or he's at home and he was doing like, you know, them sit down lessons and stuff. But everything. But I noticed like he was justifying weed, you know, and then he's very openly and that's why i put that video in the beginning because you know i don't want to be like you know we don't want to bear false witness that's why i showed you you know the proof you know because that's a heavy thing too you don't want to bear false witness i had brothers come up against me and bear false witness i mean they even chopped up you know bits and pieces of uh messages you know that uh a conversation me and a brother had and try to make it seem as if you know Look, this brother's not going out there on the highways and byways and stuff. They you know that was one of the issues with me, which I didn't really understand, you know, the whole concept of it. You know, when, when you come into this truth, you know, not everybody listens to the same camp, you know. And maybe uh, over the years, 
I've heard different things and I'm glad I did because, you know, people tell me, oh, you shouldn't be listening to multiple camps. But I feel like, you know, uh, you know, you can't take no one's word just because you say that somebody's bugged out because I I learned my lesson. The same brothers that uh, was telling me they were threatening people, telling them, look, look, if you don't block this person and you follow me, then I'm blocking you and all this kind of stuff. So I'm over here thinking, like, you know, maybe this guy's really sincere and all that. But something about that it just rubbed my spirit the wrong way you know how do i know this guy didn't just rub you the wrong way but you try to get everybody in on it you know and not really check the whole matter you know and that's why uh you know a lot of brothers you know they wasn't quick to uh you know throw stones at me you know when people was coming up against me you know brothers sat back and really kind of uh you know seen this thing out And they're like, man, the brother just didn't know. Or the brother was, we didn't check, you know, and see what the brother was going through. And them guys didn't even care. It was just making a big scene. And I think it was more to it. But that's no here or there. That's what the lesson is about. But, you know, it just bring it out to show you that, uh, you know, bearing false witness is heavy, you know, with Yasharala. And you got to be very careful on that, too, because you can really, you know, you can trash somebody's name. And you don't want to do that in this thing, you know, because people, what happened with me, you know, those brothers said what they said about me. Now you got some people that might, they might leave a mark on your name. And so people see you on social media and they'll, uh, even though you are a sincere brother and it's true for you pushing, you know, uh, making your call and, you know, an election is sure and being sincere because you love your people. But you got people that might not even uh, want to look at your lessons or look at your page or anything, you know, just because of what them brothers said, you know, even though you being sincere and and you don't prove them wrong. You know, those brothers were trying to make you seem like you're not a man of the Lord. But yet here you are, you know, you still here. So that's why it's very, very, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a heavy thing, man. And you got to be careful, you know, when you, uh, you know, be saying things about certain people. So I'm showing you proof of this brother, you know, he came up against my post and everything. And I'm not the one to quick to do a lesson on a brother, but like, it's like, come on, man, you know, because we have to also warn our people to be aware, you know, of these things, you know, because a lot of these, uh, like I said, it's different doctrines and stuff like that. And uh, let me go ahead and pull up the scripture that goes into, uh, you know, one gospel. So just give me a quick second. All right, this is Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 4. And it says, there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Okay, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. Okay, you know, so, uh, you know, there you have it. You know, this, this gospel man is like i said it's one faith and stuff like that so somebody somebody must be wrong you know but and we know you know we know through the spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh shah it ain't it's not us we understand about the chariots now like i said we don't sit there and say that everything is a chariot but we we know that the uh we know that they exist we know that the chariots are real our forefathers seen them in the ancient world I think they're a lot more scarier in person because, uh, you know, uh, Ezra's seen what they can do in his vision and, and it scared him. You know, them chariots, man, <laughs> the destruction that they're bringing on this on this earth, man, because of the wickedness of 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 the uh, of all the nations, you know, and our people as well. You know, so, you know, we know they exist and they're going to go throughout the four corners of the earth delivering up um his elect so in order to get all those people because it's still gonna you know 
it's still going to be a lot of people that are being deli- going to be delivered. One third is still a lot of people, but compared to what we are, because we're like the center of the sea. So, you know, that's an even larger number. But it just tells you that, uh, or it just shows you, you know, but a lot of our people are going to be delivered. So, you know, they got to go up into something, you know, and it's going to be those chariots. And this man don't even believe, you know, but it's okay, you know. I got a couple of more precepts I want to bring out here real quick. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. This is second Ezra, you know, which I was just talking about Ezra, uh, chapter 15 and verse three. All right. And it says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, which incredulity goes into, um, you know, their unbelief. Okay. So let not their unbelief trouble you. Okay. Trouble thee that speak against thee, which you know, the brother wasn't really speaking against me, but he's speaking against this gospel, this truth, man. You know, so don't let things like that tr trouble you. All right. <laughs> you know, these, you know, not everybody believe. You know, you got people that don't believe in, in Yahweh Shai. They, they just, they all mo most high. They say the most high, you know. Some, you know, they call on these different names and stuff like that. It's just, it's crazy. All right, I got another precept here, so just give me a second. All right, this is Romans chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 3. And it says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their, shall their unbelief, which I like the incredulity, unbelief, Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true and every man a liar. Okay? It's, it's all about the most, you know, the most high, you know, through his son, you know. You know, it's all about that gospel, the truth. Okay? You know, so it says, let God be true and every, but every man a liar. Uh, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. Okay? And mightiest overcome when thou art judged. All right, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, man. We're in a we're in a beautiful time right now. I mean, you know, we got scary times ahead, of course. But you know, this truth, man, is is really um gonna sustain us in these days. You know, in these times that are coming, because when everybody else is losing their shit, you know, and going batshit crazy, you know, we're gonna have this gospel and this truth man and it's going to keep us have a sound mind in those days and a lot of israelites even if they so called it the truth are going to lose their shit because they wasn't built in, building on a solid foundation okay so i mean you know that brother man i pray that brother get it together you know and like i said i try to have patience with him but he kept going on and on and then i just had to let him know you know because i went and like i said check your page out you need to put down the, the, the smoking because the scripture says, man, be sober minded, you know, and, and, and no matter how you try to break it down, bro, you're going off that weed, man, is not good for your body, man, <laughs> messing your body up. You know, you're going off. You need to put that down when you're teaching. You want to make sure you don't have any hats on. You know, we know what the scripture says about that. And also you need to, uh, you know, what I'm saying. You need to learn and study more before you be out here teaching. I always say that everybody don't ain't called to teach. You know, some of you just need to listen and take notes. But Jake's so proud and Jake think he know it all. You know, sit back and, and learn, man. Take notes. All right. And that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to really um, open your mind, man. So, uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you brothers and sisters out there, man. Till the next episode. Shalom.